This is a video to get you started with uh, chapter 13, uh, the PHP functions. And what we're doing is instead of using a session um, and data from the session, we're going to use um, put the data from the session into a variable and pass that as an argument to some functions. So the book shows you what the function headers should look like. I got those on the top of the page here on the right. And the book also tells you you're going to have to update that information in the session every time the cart changes. So that's going to be in the add, uh, update, and the empty. And we know we're going to have to modify our calls to those functions. So I've just done some of that preliminary work on the right side. The calls have to match the headers. So that's what my, on the bottom of the right side, is what my calls are going to look like. And I've identified and located them in the different PHP pages. All right, so here is our header, and that's in cart.php. So I've got cart.php open on the left. I'm going to paste over the header that was there with my new header, and I'm going to look at the body of the function to see how that's going to have to change the function. All right, basically we've got this new variable for cart, and we're going to be able to use that anywhere that we had been getting information from the session. All right, but where where are we going to create this cart variable? Well, where was the session variable being created? In index.php, we're looking to see if there's any information in the session. And if there is, then that's just going to continue to be used. And if not, if it's empty, we're creating an empty array and assigning it to the session so that we can store information in the session. All right, and this is what we want to replace. We don't want to use the session anymore. We want to use a variable called cart. So we're going to say if the session information is empty, then we're going to assign an empty array to our cart variable. But if it's not empty, what do we want to do? We want to assign to that cart variable whatever was in the session information. All right, and this is what's going to allow us to not use the session information throughout this program. Now I'm not going to guarantee that this is all syn the syntax of everything is exactly correct here. I'm just getting you started and helping you see how this all works. Okay, since this cart.php is being required for this file, we know that the cart variable will then be available uh, throughout the whole program because we've included cart.php. So now we can pretty much eliminate this session text and replace it with this cart variable. So I'm going to copy that cart variable and I'm going to just paste over the session stuff. And if you if you understand what's going on thoroughly, that's great, but even if you don't, you can just think about the cart variable being able to replace that session text. Uh, if you can visualize where the it's coming from and with the memory location and all that, that's even better. But for now, this is good. Uh, let's take a look at how some of these other things work. Okay, we have a switch statement. And when we add, all right, here is our call to add item. All right, the add item is used to send the product key and the item quantity through a post. But now we see that the call has to match the header. I'm going to copy what I thought about and knew that the header that the call would have to look like. And we're going to have to, at some point, figure out how to get those key and quantity variables. We've got the cart variable all taken care of. But now we need to get key and quantity. And as I mentioned, every time we do something to change the cart, we're going to have to update that session uh, data. All right, so we're just going to write back whatever was in the cart to the session. That's going to allow us to exit this web page uh, and come back to it and read the information from the, the cookie to get the, the session information and fill it back in to our cart variable. Now, here is where we're going to get item quantity and our key. All right, this is from the add item view.php. The show cart is the action, and there's our value as a add item. So we can go back to index, and when we add, we need to read from what is being posted 
or the product key. All right, you might need to go pause it, take a closer look at that, and come back to this. The add item view.php is posting the product key and it's posting the item quantity. See the select name there? It's on line 33 and the select name on line 20. The product key is being posted. So we can use that in our key variable. And similarly, we can do the same thing for quantity. All right, so just spend a few minutes uh, making sure you understand that code and then write the line to assign to that quantity variable from what was posted by add item view. And you're going to follow this uh, same procedure. I've got you started pretty well on the add and you're going to do something very similar for the update item and the get subtotal. Uh, get subtotal is going to be called in cart view and it hadn't been sent uh, an argument before. It was just using the session information and instead we're going to uh, pass the cart. And then you just basically have to go through replacing wherever it's using session with the new variable that we've used because we're passing it to the functions.